What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're here to review the Fossman Mini Bluetooth Keyboard. Yes, a mini Bluetooth keyboard with a built-in trackpad and some other nice little features. And I wanna say that this keyboard is great to use with wearable displays such as the Lenovo Legion glasses or x Real units or anything like that to create a mobile computing experience. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start by talking appearance of the Fossman Mini Bluetooth keyboard. Now this unit is of course very portable. So overall dimensions, retail space that we're taking up here is going to be slightly smaller than the display on a flagship smartphone. So think somewhat smaller than an S24 Ultra's display. Very small form factor, but the benefit here is it's also going to be very thin. So overall, this is great for transport. But not only that, we can also place this in our case for our wearable display. So here I have the case for the Lenovo Legion glasses, and I'm going to unzip here. So I'm going to take the keyboard and I'm going to place it right inside there. And then I'm going to make sure that I tuck the cable from the glasses away from the glasses themselves and then we can close the whole kit and this is just a great portable computing solution and then all you have to do of course is plug the glasses into whatever device you're using say a smartphone or a laptop you can pull out that keyboard. Of course, if you're using a laptop, you don't need to use the keyboard for that application, but it works great with a smartphone. Now I'm going to unzip here and we're going to pull the keyboard back out. And I just like that that fits in there nicely. It works really well. Again, we're just trying to find ways to improve our relationship with technology and be as productive as possible. Now moving on to the form factor, the unit is made mostly of plastic and this is a bit of a disappointment. Well, for one, you do have a very light unit. That's a very good thing, but this does have a cheap feel to it because of its plastic composition. But overall, I do like the design. It has a controller-like appearance to it and a controller-like feel. And we've got these nice orange accents that help to complement it, but it also adds a bit of grip texture. That's also a plus here. And you can see on the keyboard itself, letters are very visible. We are going to have white lettering or blue lettering, a combination. And this just makes readout really easy. And that's going to be important because the keyboard's not necessarily the best and you're going to have to reference it a lot, which we'll talk about in a moment. So again, we have to constantly reference the keyboard. It's not the best. And that's because the keys are small and they're not spaced apart enough in my opinion. And there is very little tactile feedback. There is a dot on both the F and J key to know where your finger is relevant to the keyboard. But outside of that, you don't really know where you are often. So you constantly have to look down at the keyboard and you have to make sure that you're hitting the right letters. Now, this isn't out of the ordinary because when we used to have these kind of keyboards on our phones, we would often have to look at the keyboard anyways. But just a small note, you're not going to be typing on this without looking at it. You're going to be referencing the keyboard a lot to do your typing. But there are some highlights here. We can perform functions and shortcuts and other things like page up and down or left and right. We also have mouse buttons, not only on the right side of the keyboard on that lower portion, but also as shoulder buttons on the top left and the top right. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate those on camera. They're very thin, they don't stick out much, but they are there. And again, that seems to be part of this controller-like experience. However, a highlight of this keyboard is going to be backlighting. So we can turn this unit on, and then we're going to illuminate the keyboard with this orange colored sun logo button. And we're going to press on that, and we have backlighting. Now, it's not gonna blow you away, but it is very good for this application, for this size, for this form factor. It works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. 
and then I'll switch the keyboard back off. Now, as you can see, we also have LED indicators. Not all of them are going to light up in this video. There is a series of four, but only the first one is showing. But that's a nice element as well. We actually have the second one blink in there too. So nice to see. And then moving away from the keyboard, we have the trackpad here. Now this is a small trackpad, but it works surprisingly well. And that's because of the raised edges around it. It kind of boxes your finger in, so you know where your finger is located throughout the trackpad. This is what I like to see. I wish we had something similar with the keyboard keys. That way we can have a better relationship of where our finger is relevant to the keyboard, the full keyboard. And finally, we have battery life, which has been very good for this device. Now I use it probably a few hours a week and I may have to charge it one or two times a month, which seems to align with what I would expect. But overall, this is a pretty cool unit. Now, is it going to be a unit that you're going to use for heavy productivity? Probably not, but if this is something where you're looking to maybe do a few simple messages or just a little bit of typing and you're looking for a portable form factor, this could be it for you. And also, I think it pairs perfectly with, again, a wearable display for a mobile computing kit. I think what's going to be the highlight here when using it for mobile computing is going to be that built-in trackpad because, again, those, those raised edges they are going to give you good feedback. You know where your finger is located. It's easy to find the trackpad without actually having to look at the keyboard. That's going to be the huge plus when using it with a wearable display. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.